Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my phone is the only thing I can record with because I just filmed the intro with the main camera right there and then it just decided to take a shit. So I honestly haven't filmed my phone in a long time so I don't know how it's gonna look, but it should be good enough. Now, this is part four of the Trans Am restoration and as you guys can see, it looks like a car again. I put the other spoiler on it right there. We have the door right here mocked up. This is mainly for like, you know, just mock up, make sure the door lines up with the fender. The fenders line up with the hood. As you can see, the other fender's on over there. Hood's not on, hood's right there, ready to go on as soon as we find my hinges, which we cannot find no matter what we do. But it is, it is getting close to, you know, paint, and closer and closer to paint. So all we have to do pretty much is bodywork this door as you guys can see it's pretty wavy bodywork this door bodywork this fender as you guys meant as i mentioned to you guys before it doesn't have a cove in it and it's extremely noticeable now you can see where the fender comes out further than the door again it's not like you know too crazy of a difference when you're looking down the side of the car you can you can you can see it down there especially now. if this is a black car it'd be insane then got to white car. Don't have the nose yet, but that will all be, you don't need that for mock-up because that just you know, goes in the front. Pretty soon here, the car itself, the body will be ready for a strip down of paint, fixing any steel, anything like that. A little bit of body filler over the areas that need it. And then it'll be ready for paint. Um, maybe I think it's this side. Open the door so you guys can see it clears perfectly fine. My rockers, these are actually not real 100% rockers. Their skins, you clear witness marks right here for that, that it's a skin. And we knew this too, because as you guys can see, when we close the door, the door gap's what you're looking at right here. So you guys can see the door gap, good, good, good. And it gets wide towards the bottom. You guys can see right there. It's, it might be kind of hard to see. Yeah. You can see as it goes down, it definitely gets wider. Like down here, I can't fit my finger in. Up here, clearly cannot fit my finger in. So, probably gonna have to, instead of modifying the door to bump out a little more, we're just gonna, you know, use a little bit of body filler and extend that region down there. Of course, my camera would take a shit on me right as I'm doing the intro. Guys, I literally did the intro and then it just died. Like it said, change battery pack. I'm like, bruh. Because before I left, it said full battery. Sat in my car for like four hours and it was flashing red and it just died. So that's how bad the cold really gets to batteries, I guess. This is the driver's side door right here. I just did this today, actually. This is currently in 320 grit. You guys can see all our grits over here, all our sandpaper. I used a combination of blocks, this block, uh, this one for this for this ridge right here where it comes down. Obviously, you know, I started at 150, then 220, then 320. Then right before we paint it, it's gonna be going 400 grit. You, we do 400 grit, so we're gonna get all these panels to 320, this door. Uh, the other door, once it's done, the good fender, the bad fender, we're gonna body work everything, get everything in 320, and then right before we paint the car, We'll do everything in 400. It's gonna be a big process because you do one door, and you do the next door, and you do the one fender, and you do the other fender, and then you do the trunk lid, then you gotta do the hood. It's a lot. But once we're done with you know doing the 400 grip, they are ready for sealing and painting. So we're really not too far away if you really think about it. When you think about how far it's come since I started making these videos over it, it really isn't too much longer until it's gonna be in paint at this rate. Now, as you guys may know, the Monte Carlo is coming you know, out of storage here soon. Definitely more videos coming over that. So be stupid, stay tuned for those videos. I'm also thinking about getting a GoPro for my head. So I could potentially make, you know, 
sanding videos for you guys or just working on stuff uh especially when the um when the mechanical aspects come to doing trans am right here definitely i want to have it by then because that's a big portion that i want to get for you guys on especially on camera because that's the most enjoyable part this by far is the most unenjoyable part of the entire restoration because it's extremely time consuming and it's just it's super repetitive because you sand it looks good then you have to put more of this right here guide coat you put more guide coat over it then you have to sand with the next grip and the next grip and the next grip and you're like hey the door is done or whatever panel's done but then you, have to, you realize you have like 10 other panels for the car and it's just it's really tasking because it's, it's a lot of work a lot of manual labor work you know that i'm doing for free because it's my car you do need a break sometimes like you can't do this every single day you'll be you'll be pooped you'll be bad it's just really an unfun aspect of the process but it needs to be done uh, i don't know if i mentioned to you guys this door over here we were actually going to use this door for the passenger side instead of the one that you guys saw me make videos over but this one had pretty much really similar issues the whole bottom lip of the door underneath that is rotten away some inner, some of the inner structure is done just really not that good of a candidate for going all out on it compared to what we already would have had to do on the one door, which I was already kind of started on. So we might as well just have saved that door. Uh, if you guys can't notice, the Escalade right here, it's on the lift. We had this lift forever. You know, we've had this lift for probably like 12 years, 13 years, I don't know, something like that. But we finally got a secondary lift. Again, you guys don't even know this. You guys don't even know, this is my dad's shop, but like, we got a second lift finally, and it works too. You guys have seen in previous videos just a lift and no arms, but it's got arms now. So now we can do, if you know, if my dad's doing something, I don't have to wait to, for him to finish to do it. I can, you know, do my, do, uh, do my own thing on here. Or if I'm helping him, I can do a different car while he's doing, you know, his own car. I mean, obviously that hasn't happened yet, but it's super nice to know that you can easily do that. Oh shit. This is disgusting. This came out of this uh, GTO right here. This thing was nasty inside, but like this was this was all gone. It's amazing. It's amazing what you know hides under stuff. This is actually some of the body filler they used. I forget where exactly on the car, but look how thick that is. That is insanely. Look at that. Nuts. Maneuver around this. Uh, but that's probably gonna be it for today's video guys honestly a little bit shorter video than normal it's just you know normal stuff every two weeks i like to have a video up for you guys at least on this and where it's at it's it's a little bit slow moving right now but it will pick up definitely especially once the body works done once it's painted then it's time for the fun shit the mechanical shit which i can't wait to do because i severely dislike doing body work now if there's anybody that like, oh yeah, I love doing body work. I applaud you because I can't do it. I just, no, I don't think it's fun. I don't think it's enjoyable. The end product is like, yeah, look at that. That really paid off. It looks super nice, but like, God, it takes way too long. And the simple fact is you can do all this work and then you can go to like cars done driving around. You can go park at Walmart and somebody can open the door up and do it. All that work, it's just, I don't like, no, not me. I mentioned uh, that little spot in the windshield that was bad down there, rusty. This needs to get repaired up here. My glass in this entire car is perfect, excellent condition. The front's good, it's super dusty. Back is mint. That trunk I have is actually done in the room right there. I'll show you guys real quick. Sorry, my phone ran out of freaking storage. God. Uh, this is the trunk right here. It's super hard to see, but trunk is a-okay. Trunk's all good. These little like low spots are okay because it's under the spoiler completely. So I don't need to worry about that. But that's probably gonna do it for today's video, guys. Definitely stay tuned for more Trans Am content. You know, Monte Carlo content. I just can't wait until this car's done because 
I've had this, I'll be honest, I've had this car since I was probably 13 years old. And I just, you know, I was interested in doing it because I couldn't drive back then, couldn't really do anything. So I wasn't really too interested in actually putting in all this work and not being able to drive it. So now, finally, I know I'm 18, like three, you know, what? Two years past when I get my license, but now I'm interested in really hauling ass and getting this thing done. So that's all I really care about, as long as it gets done. Hopefully this car will be done by, I'd like to see it done by later this year, honestly. And if not earlier than that, like maybe July time, that'd be really cool. But anyways, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and I'll see y'all in the next one.